Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect. We are returning to the Normandy after our visit to the Citadel. And Stand by shore party. We're getting decontamination in progress. Decontaminated and I intend to proceed across the galaxy map. Ooh, Law. a change of clothes too. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. So we're going to go across, eventually hitting Vermeer, but I want to get to all the systems and the little side quests before Vermeer. Message so let's take in. a look. Oh, patching it through. Something new here. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. Uh oh. I don't agree with everything you said, but at least you got her on your side. I just hope it doesn't damage relations with the Council. Oh, okay. And they'll get over it. Screw them. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, the council can kiss my ass. I'm entitled to my opinions. When you wear that uniform, you represent the Systems Alliance military. As a specter, you represent humanity. There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the specters look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. Like I care. I'm sure Saren inconvenienced the people he killed on Eden Prime, too. I'm on your side, Commander. Remember that. This comes from the Joint Military Command. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Suddenly, suddenly getting a lot of interest from my superiors, apparently. Okay. So, zoom out of the Citadel. We've already been to Soul System. So, that's done, I suppose. I don't know if we finished everything in Novaria, but let's go to this Exodus cluster first. Utopia. We definitely have a mission there somewhere. Yeah. And maybe we can find some of the other things that we're supposed to pick up as side quests. Undocking? Okay. So, Utopia. Well, let's take a look one by one. Arcadia? Nothing. Eden Prime? Well, okay, that's familiar. Nothing there now, though. Zion? Nope. Nirvana? Okay. Xanadu. I see a pattern with these names, by the way. Wow, nothing. Okay, so there's nothing around here? Hold on. Uh, let me go out and check my journal here. Oh, Renegade plus nine. Well, that's good. Okay, so really, nothing in this sector. Strenus, Hades, Gamma. Not even little random pieces of information about valuable minerals? No, no valuable minerals even. Sort of sad, really. While on Pharos, you found the personal log of an Exogeny employee. The doctor's notes seem to express some concern about samples they provided to a group he referred to only as Cerberus. Well, that's gonna be important. But, um... We have to go to the Matano system in the Maroon Sea cluster for, to figure that one out. That might uh, this that, that might be interesting actually. Okay. Anyway, let's move on to the next system if there's nothing here, and let's do it as roguishly as possible. Strenus. Pax. I think it's in Pax that we have to go to. Strenus. We have to do something else. Okay, Noveria. Oh, let's check out all the worlds. Anything to pick up from here? No. Morana? No. Velas? Nope. Okay. To Noveria. So 
always snowy in Novaria. I hope they're glad to see me again. Well, had Liara and Ashley last time. We'll have Garrus and Tali this time. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Uh, Michael Matsuo. Commander, I'm glad you stopped to talk. I wanted to tell you how unfortunate it was that Analeas Sama was caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Rest assured, I bear you no ill will. He was a criminal. Your opinion doesn't matter. That, those are both very close options. Uh, do you condone his doesn't actions, sound like I you guess? Disapprove of his actions. The executive board is not concerned with galactic law, Commander. That's why this planet was settled, after all. As far as they are concerned, Analea Sama went too far. On Ovaria, you may do what you wish, so long as you do not disturb public order. I only request that you limit the number of disturbances you provoke. I would consider it a favor. We'll see. Do what you have to do, Captain. I'll do the same. I see. That makes your position clear enough. If you will excuse me, I must file reports on this incident. Good day. This incident. Uh, she she really wants to make things tough, doesn't she? Lots of cameras around. This guy's just standing around. Can't talk to him. Seems like, uh... Swing for something. Alright, yeah, well there's an exclamation mark. Guess that's the person we have to talk to. Rafael Vargas, is that the person? Vargas is at the hotel bar. In order for Melin's device to work, you have to keep him talking about business. Okay, we have to keep him talking about business. We do not want to waste his time. Can I help you? Alliance Marine, I'm a Spectre. Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, sales. Were you interested in our services? <laughs> and sorry, he asked me to spy. If the price is right. I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. Mr. Vargas, I'm here to talk business with you. If you'd rather speculate on politics, I can visit another Gen Eng firm. You have my full attention, Shepard. I'm merely getting a handle on my negotiating position. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in ZG muscle degeneracy. I Mars genes want better. Enhancement improves speed by 16%. Ah, I see you've done some research. That's their official claim. However, we believe they cherry-picked their sample to show optimum results. The numbers we provide are strict mathematical averages. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. That's the commercial price for individual purchasers. I'm offering you millions of jobs, Mr. Vargas. That's worth more than some stock sensory upgrades. I'll give you a cautious probably. There is a standard discount for bulk orders, but I can't authorize that. I can push it upstairs. I'm sure someone will get back to you on it. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. Can't do either one of those. I've reached the limit of my special charm and intimidation. Not everything I do is legal. Yeah. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a uh -oh. business meeting. Uh-oh. 
Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with the Citadel. Okay, was that good enough, or did I just mess up? Hi, businessman. Since the administrator was arrested, our managers are interrogating everyone who talked to you. What right. sort of offer did they make you? Good. I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They'd only write them down on thin script. Okay, so... Hacking complete, okay. Return to Maylene Callus. Alright. Where is Maylene Callus? The company takes care of its own. Full insurance, there she is. Any results? It's done. Your toy did its job. Excellent. Five hundred credits 500 is nothing. Credits to your account. I want more. Well, I could use uh, charm. Only five hundred. All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more since you couldn't do it yourself. I mean, did I say five hundred credits? Can I, I intimidate on top of that? Good day, Spectre. I'd like to intimidate on top of that. Well, I got two Renegade anyway, and a level up. How's Lorik doing? Ms. Parasini contacted me as she lifted off world. Okay, that's all I'm gonna get from him. Alright, I think we've done the job here. So, on to the next world. We'll just continue going in order. Oh, uh, wait, there was another system in this one. There is this Strenus. Let's see what's going on there. Okay, starting with the innermost planet. Nothing to see there. Next. Nothing to see there. They've all got really long pe orbital periods, by the way. 74.9 Earth years, even. Nothing to see there. There's no sign at all, as far as the planets are concerned. Unless I'm missing, like, some tiny moon. Let me... Let's see... So far, Earth's moon is the only actual moon I've ever seen. I'm not seeing anything around here. Okay, and it looks like uh, we were actually looking for the planet Zawin, and somewhere close to it there's a thing. Okay, so planet... Zawin. Oh, there we go. There's... Wow. Uh, oh, this is blinking spot. Unknown. Okay. Alright, now we can scan. A faint trail of radioactive particles, possibly exhaust from a sublight nuclear engine drive, leads towards a, the nearby planet of Zawin. Okay. So we've got that trail. Then back on Zawin, we can land. Well, let's find out what's going on here. Alright, uh, we'll take Garrus and Tali again, because we didn't really make use of them. Lots of tech strength, not combat strength for Biotic, though. Mm, that's a balanced thing. Okay, let's take Rex and Garrus. Yeah. They're not properly equipped, though. It's never anywhere sunny or nice. Okay. That is... Ancient Debris. Alright, let's pop out. Recover Artifact. I'll oh, get this again. Ah, fudge. Uh... Oh, I missed it, I missed it, I missed it. Shoot. Cover artifact. Okay, it's gonna let me do it multiple times. There we go. Insignia recovered. Fragment appears to be from an old model freighter. Chati Outpost Insignia. Okay. Wow, we got a lot for that. Okay. 
so that one we've done. Um, abandoned camp, anomaly, anomaly. Let's go for the anomalies first, and then there's a mercenary camp up there, and then debris. Actually, well, the debris is probably interesting too. Backing out. There's a bit more than just an anomaly there. What else is over there? Can't tell what that that all is. Hmm. Corpse. Was trying to mark the nearby mineral deposit when he died or was killed. That's not a good sign. Iridium mineral deposit. Survey mineral. <laughs> There's one mini game in this game. Alright, we've successfully surveyed it. We've put our thing, so is something gonna attack us now? I can attack them. Doesn't look like it. It's getting pretty hazardous here. It's a level one hazard, and I guess when the hazard meter peaks, we might be in trouble, so gotta watch out for that. Okay, so to the north, abandoned camp. Oh, well, that's a real camp, alright. Solar panels here. Not too sure that's the most effective way of getting electricity, guys. Generator. Well, that's better. No one left in this camp. The generator is still functioning, but there's no signs of the former occupants. Camp's computer notes several locations of interest. Okay, are those the ones that we've already visited? Now that we've activated the generator, though, maybe people will come around. Okay, so... Iridium, Iridium, Anomaly, Mercenary Camp, Debris. Well, let's go for the Iridium first. I don't know what... Why I'm... Oh, we can knock the... <laughs> I didn't even think that we could knock the solar panels around. I don't know why we're uh, marking the iridium for them. That's not really our job, but it seems to give us some credits and such. So why not? Oh, or maybe that. Oh, cobalt. It's not iridium. Redeploying. All right, all right. Don't scare me like that. Survey mineral. We're in a level something or another hazard, so watch out, folks. All right, mineral surveyed, large cobalt deposit. All right, so that's done. I hope whoever was trying to do this in the first place is happy about all this. All right, so we're headed for the next anomaly. Okay. This beacon was a geth trap! Exclamation mark. Oh, okay. Oh, they're they're geth. Ouch, ouch. Okay, Geth. To me, you are merely a source of XP, Geth. So that was a trap, was it? Whoa! This is a uh, very deposited deposit. I hope the Mako can deal with this one. Okay, but let's pop out. Palladium deposit, mark, survey mineral. Got it. Alright, we have surveyed palladium. 
Cobalt and Iridium. This seems vaguely familiar. I mean, familiar from a future game. Uh, Mass Effect 2, we will be surveying it in grand style. That's, well, that's a lot of enemy forces. Okay. That's an alliance heavy turret. Well, anyway, it's a bad guy now. Ooh. Uh, where are the other ones? Okay. I don't see the other turrets. This one. I don't know if we're actually... Oh, yeah, we can get him. Uh, back off, back off. I'd like my shields to heal a bit before I try and continue this. Or... That's gonna take forever. Okay. Oh, there's the other one. Okay, got that one. Where are these other red dudes? I think we have to go around to get a shot at them. Yep, there they are. Oh. Whoa! Shoot! Don't do that. Hull compromise. Hull compromise. Oh, we can't do anything while it's repairing. Under Shoot! Fire. This is not good. Okay. Uh, but we really need to move here. Good thing the uh, heavy turrets are terrible shots. Oh, wait. Oh, almost killed me there. Okay, that one is going to the wayside. Okay, we are totally red. We're overheated. There's one more guy. Shoot. Okay, I think that's everybody. Damako is in serious trouble. We are trailing... Trailing a lot of smoke and flames. Alright. It might be actually dangerous to get out of something like this with all the sparks and everything. Heading out? I guess not. Okay. Level 1 hazard, guys. Let's hurry. Sprinting doesn't work. We have to enter this building. I don't know if they'll have the answers we're looking for. They're bad guys. We can save. Oop, odd pop. Oop. Jeez. Uh oh god, we've got the I will destroy you thing. The fusion containment cell does not sound like something I want to be standing next to right now. Who are these mercenaries? I guess these are the privateers they're talking about. They're pretty tough. Oh! Oh! Uh. Okay, let's try. Who's saying... Well, it can't be our guys that are saying, I will destroy you and you must die, right? They're all both guys, and I keep hearing a girl's voice, too. I will destroy you. You must die. 
It must be these mercenary guys. Oh! Where did that come from? Okay. Right. They're gonna be right outside the store, so let's get started. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hmm. You always have to go into exactly the right place to trigger them. Go again. Oh shoot, I've been hit. Enemy is everywhere. I need to examine uh, the loadouts pretty soon. Let's do some revival here. Why am I not getting a cursor on this guy? Okay, here we go. Come on, let me shoot him. Shoot. Okay. Yeah, let me check on uh, what sort of loadouts we've got here. We need to pick up some better armor for Rex. Forgot about that. Okay. I think I've upgraded the things I need to upgrade. But let's see about upgrading the peoples. Rex needs 13 points distributed. Already full up on the Krogan Battlemaster. Let's unlock stasis for him. And all the way up to advanced carnage on the shotguns. Could do fitness too. That would be helpful. But we don't have any points now. Now Garrus. Assassination on the sniper rifles. Max out the assault rifles. Alright. Ready for unity? Yes. Revival. Alright. Okay, he's shielded up there. Gonna shield up too. You must die! Yeah, they are. Okay, that was successful. Perimeter clear. Okay, F5 while well, the perimeter is clear. Um, there's an exclamation mark over here somewhere. Okay. Computer console, just XP, storage locker. Okay, override succeeded. That's nothing, apparently. Captain Willem. We've discovered the corpse of Captain Willem of the Majesty. His stiff fingers are wrapped tightly around a small data pad. We've taken the data pad. And I guess we will have to report this finding. Aid station. Yeah, I guess that's it for this place. Yeah, let's go out. Okay, let's repair if possible. Taking a look at the map, there's still this debris over here. I guess we'll visit that. This was the privateer base. Well, we're still all red. So that repairing did not change the fact that the entire vehicle's red. 
Sometimes it just doesn't work. Okay, uh, so did we fulfill that? No, uh, it says we have to talk to Gareth. We have to return to Citadel Tower. Well, I guess we'll have to... We, we'll properly complete the mission. And then we will have cleared this sector. The Horsehead Nebula, in fact. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, I should have returned... No, no. Whoa, whoa. Uh, I take it back. I should have... I should have gone, I should have gone, I should have left, I should have left. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, ah. We don't have the power, we don't Area have the. Secure. Area secure my ass. Oh my god. Okay, well, we can quick save. Well, we've quick saved. Well, let's. Let's brave this new peril. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take this. Take, take, take this. More of this. Okay, where are you? Oh, shoot. Yeah, <laughs> that's too close. Uh, instant death on that one. I don't even know if it even shot me, it's just that it appeared so close and that was enough to kill me. Okay. Oh, here here we're fully healed, look at that. It was reading red before, but I think that was just a error in the way it was reading it. Come on, why don't you just pop out now? Uh, we can't taunt it or anything. Gotta keep moving this time. See, okay, uh, ro go, 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 go. Oh boy. Ah! Oh. It, 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 I can't see. It. Oh, I think I killed it. Wow, 11,000 credits. Oh, but, but there's still a red... Okay, it's gone. Okay. Um, debris. Wait a minute, is this another lunar probe? But that can't be. This isn't the moon. Crash probe. Electronic skill too low? Uh, well, I mean, it looks exactly like the lunar probe, except this is ways away from Luna. Hmm. Hold on. I need to look at my skills here. I've got skill points. Alright. Let me up my skill points. Master Overload. I'll leave it there. Let me try that again. Ah, bypass using 25 Omni Gel. Well, I'll take it. Oh, that's all we get? Man, I thought I was going to get something impressive for doing that. Alright, fine. Return to Normandy. We've done all the things here. Alright. I guess we have to... I really, really wish I had a comm officer that I could contact the guy at Citadel to tell about all that. I think that's, that's true in Mass Effect 2, but not here. So we have to go all the way back to the Citadel. Let's do it. Let's do it quickly. All right, where is the guy? Maybe, but I wouldn't believe everything you hear. That's just it. Gareth. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? Uh, uh, we did. I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? 
I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I figured you'd want to know the truth, no matter how painful. You're right. It's worse not knowing. That's what they all say, at least. Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Okay, well, uh... We apparently didn't do that for any money or XP or anything. Fair enough. Alright, I'm gonna head back to Normandy, but I think I'll wrap up the episode here. We have done our missions through Noveria, and so will we head on beyond the Horsehead Nebula, still continuing on our way through all the systems to Vermeer. And so, yeah, we will be doing all the side quests that we're supposed to take care of, and then ultimately getting to Vermeer in the Race Against Time. Uh, I'm sure taking my own sweet time, given it's a Race Against Time, but yeah. That is the plan. Alright, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.